Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, May the 6th. It's year two, it's week five in Easter, and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 84, Leviticus chapter 8, verse 1 through 13, and 30 through 36. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. How lovely is your dwelling place, my beloved God of hosts. Alleluia. Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, my beloved God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for your courts. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to you, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, O God of hosts, my ruler and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs, and the autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O oh, beloved God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O oh God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Turn your eyes, O oh God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of your house, O God, I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For you, God, are a rampart, a shield. You will give us favor and glory. You will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. O beloved God of hosts, happy are those who trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. How lovely is your dwelling place, my beloved God of hosts. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, the vestments, the anointing oil, the bull of sin offering, the two rams and the basket of unleavened bread, and assemble the whole congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Moses did as Yahweh commanded him, and when the congregation was assembled at the entrance of the tent of meeting, Moses said to the congregation, this is what Yahweh has commanded to be done. And then Moses brought Aaron and his sons forward and washed them with water. He put the tunic on him, fastened the sash around him, and clothed him with the robe, and put the ephod on him. And he then put the decorated band of the ephod around him, tying the ephod to him with it. And he placed the breastpiece on him. And in the breastpiece he put the Urim and the Thummim, and he set the turban on his head. And on the turban in front he set the golden ornament, the holy crown, as Yahweh commanded. And then Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it, and consecrated them. He sprinkled some of it on the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all of its utensils and the basin and its base to consecrate them. He poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head and anointed him to consecrate him. And Moses brought forward Aaron's sons and clothed them with tunics and fashioned sashes around them and tied headdresses on them as Yahweh had commanded. And then Moses took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood that was on the altar and sprinkled them on Aaron and his vestments and also on his sons and their vestments. And thus he consecrated Aaron and his vestments and also his sons and their vestments. And Moses said to Aaron and his sons, boil the flesh at the entrance of the tent of meeting 
and eat it there with the bread that is in the basket of ordination offerings, as I was commanded. Aaron and his sons shall eat it, and what remains of the flesh and the bread you shall burn with fire. You shall not go outside the entrance of the tent of meeting for seven days until the day when your period of ordination is completed, for it will take seven days to ordain you. As has been done today, Yahweh has commanded to be done to make atonement for you. You shall remain at the entrance of the tent of meeting day and night for seven days, keeping Yahweh's charge so that you do not die. For so I am commanded. Aaron and his sons did all the things that Yahweh commanded through Moses. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem, O God, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the, ho let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose loving hand has given us all that we possess, grant us grace that we may honor you with our substance, and remembering the account which we must one day give, be faithful stewards of your bounty, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.